in this section i'm going to show you how to deploy and host your github repository to your github pages uh, at present this page is github.com it only supports the static files hosting like html javascript css etc and it's mainly just to showcase your personal project uh, your blog or your organization website in future i'm hoping that github will provide um, a method or tools to directly host your server side code um, however there are other options like a lot of new cloud services like amazon azure or google cloud um, they provide these tools so that you can directly publish your github repository um, to the google cloud or other cloud services um, at the end of this video i'm also going to show you how quickly you can um, use your angular app and you can quickly convert it to a hosted environment using um, your github repository um, but for this section, I'm just going to show you how to build your static blog or your personal website using GitHub pages. So as you can see, just head out to pages.github.com. Okay, and uh, before you start, you have to create a new repository. And uh, there's some certain conditions that this new repository, as you can see, um, the first section of your repository, the repository name must match your username. So in my case, otherwise it's not going to work. So in my case, my user ID is Amit X Shukla. Um, so I'm going to create a new repository and uh, I'm going to use Amit as shukla.github.io. And um, this is going to be your website. So in future, you will just uh, say, okay, my website is Amit X Shukla.github.io. So let's quickly set it up. You can initialize this with a readme file, create a repository. Okay, so that's it. And let's go back here. So suppose I'm using a command line window, quickly create, you know, open a command line and, um, oh, sorry. Okay, and now next step is you need to git clone um, this repository. Okay, uh, let me just grab this repository HTTPS uh, from here. So this is the address. Wonderful. So as you can see, if I go back to my local drive, uh, you will see that there is a, it created um, a new repository here. Okay. Now, let me go back to the command line window. Okay. Open the instructions side. So next thing is you just need to CD into this one and uh, echo some uh, something to your index.html. So uh, let's say I'm going to CD um, into this directory. And as you can see, um, there are only readme files over there. So I'm going to get a status. So it tells me the tree is clean, that there's no new file over there. Okay. Uh, here, I'm going to create a new file. So I'll say something uh, cool coming soon and I'm going to post this to an index.stm okay I'm going to check the git status again see there's only one file which is pending the commit um, so I'm going to first add this file um, commit uh, so add this file to my local staging area oops Okay, now check git status again. I should see this file in green color now. Uh, I'm going to make a commit here, iPhone M, and I'm going to say first to revision. Okay, and the next step is git push hyphen u origin master. So what's going to do, this is going to publish your uh, repository, uh, your local changes to the remote repository and few minutes you'll be live. So what you can do, you know, uh, what, so in this, your local uh, drive, whatever website you can have is going to take this website and publish it to the 
uh, your GitHub repository. And once this is done, as you can see, it's your website is immediately live. So if I if I go here and I say my website is say Amit x shukla.github.io you will see uh, your index.html uh, just showed up here so this is how easy it is like you know to publish your website using directly from your github repository um well there is a not much to this one uh, but you can always use there are some other cool tools you can use like jekyll framework what it does you can build your personal website a blogging website or simple organization website using that tool uh, it's not mandatory you can always create your website using your own tools um, but this is just a good good to learn tools one more thing you can do so suppose you don't want your user to see this kind of url suppose you have your um, other url like amitshukla.io so you can always um, go back to your uh, hosted environment and set up a c name um, using your domain name services and you know so this it will still point to the, your github repository but it's not going to show up the website address like this. Uh, so basically that's pretty much it. Um, oh, one last thing I want to show you. So suppose I will go back to my GitHub repository here. Uh, that's only for Angular. Um, so Angular is the latest, uh, it's not the latest, it's like now the new Angular version is the framework supported by Google. Uh, I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to hit to my repositories. So, for example, I have a repository here. It's built in Angular. So this is a very, very cool new tool because you know a lot of times when you're working on Angular and you want to showcase your work to other developers or you, uh, you want to share something quickly or you want to open a bug with Angular. So suppose this is the Angular website. This is a very minimum, bare minimum website. So as you can see, there's a package.json and it has listed all the Angular uh, built, uh, all the Angular packages required for this one. So the good, the cool thing with this one, suppose you have a new repository uh, built in Angular. Um, this is my repository. Okay. All you need to do, okay, um, go here and type stackblaze.com forward slash and get rid of, get rid of this GitHub um, dot com and just say github and uh, what's what happens so what this is going to do this takes all your code and build a runtime app so you know you can quickly see suppose you're working on your github repository and you want to quickly see how your app is going to look like that's how it is, easy it is so especially for the angular it's not unfortunately it's not working for our other repository at this moment um but this is the people who are doing the angular development Definitely, you know, they can uh, use this tool and they can quickly, um, quickly make use of this stackblaze.com um, offering. So that's pretty much it for.